All right, you guys, this is Ross. I thought in today's video, we would just very quickly discuss this particular fruit here in front of me, because this is very classic of your typical Adriatic style fig. And what do I mean by Adriatic is that uh, these are a certain classification or types of fig that are very similar to a couple other varieties that have different names. And they're very similar to each other in that they're green skinned they have a red, a deep red interior that typically tastes like a strawberry. Um, and in fact, the Adriatic, why it's called the Adriatic classification of fruits is that Adriatic was a commercial fruit that was grown in California for many years. And we know of it at least as hobbyists, or maybe you can find it today in nursery catalogs or maybe even locally sold at nurseries by the name Green Aishia. Uh, you may even find it of just Aishia, you may even find it as, um, you know, Verte, you may find it as Strawberry, Strawberry Verte, Battaglia Green, JH Adriatic, um, even White Madeira Number 1 is very similar to these. Um, and typically, you know, you get a lot of very s similar things between those fruits. Lake Spur Unknown, um, Rockaway Green is another one I'm growing. And I've kind of compared a lot of them side by side over the years and other, other hobbyists have as well. And you just get the feeling that there's not a ton of difference between them. Um, and I don't think I've ever really truly reviewed a very perfect or at least classic Adriatic fig with you guys. So that's what this is. This is actually a, a trees, a friend of mine um, a client of ours, excuse me, had given us two trees this spring. I didn't really want them. These were the bonsai trees that we looked at. One, we looked at actually the Brabas. There is a Dotado here. And then this one had a really interesting Braba and I was wondering what it was, but turns out it's actually just a, uh, a green Aishia. And if I open this up, you could see that it's got that green skin a lot of times it'll be yellow, but you'll see the shape is very flat or your Lotto like this. You know, it doesn't have the biggest or longest neck and typically the stem is a bit short as well. And then the bottom is a bit flat. So that's the shape that you typically see. And then if you open it up, you'll see the inside. It's usually quite jammy, strawberry red, and it tastes like strawberry. You know, it's very good, these fruits, these Adriatic type figs. Uh, one of the figs that's kind of taken its place in this category, at least commercially, is Panache. Because Panache is actually just kind of a Ramada version of this. It's very similar, not exactly the same, but you could classify it as probably a similar fruit, similar commercial potential, but it's got the stripes. It's more beautiful. People seem to be more attracted to it. So. I guess in my opinion, that and brown turkey and black mission has kind of kind of put this fig away, uh, you know, in a lower classification in terms of its commercial potential. But for the average grower, it's a very, very good fig. Again, really nice berry flavor, very sweet, thick and jammy pulp. I mean, you can't beat this. The pulp is fantastic on a lot of these fruits. The texture ranges quite dramatically sometimes. And in my opinion, these green Aishia types, these Adriatic types, um, they have a pulp that really rivals some of the thicker figs I grow. So this one's really good, really impressive. I don't even know what to call this other than probably just green Aishia, maybe green Aishia unknown. I don't even know if I'll share cuttings from this. Probably won't prune it at all, to be honest with you. And just next year, get like another 100 figs off of it, you know? Um, that's really what it seems to be doing and doing well, is that it produces a lot of fruit, even the Brabas. And I guess this is what you can kind of expect off of a tree that is like seven years old in a pot that's, it's been in the pot for too long. And I expect next year, now that we've up-potted it, to really start to grow and, and take off. And I've been just really enjoying this fruit, this tree. It is, uh, again, one of the better fruits. So I'm happy to have it. You know, even though it's very common and I've eaten many of these in the past, 
don't get me wrong, very happy to have this tree. So thank you guys here for watching this one. We'll see you soon, all right? Take care and hit that subscribe button. Check out our blog, figboss.com, for all kinds of fig-related information. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.